Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Qin Shi Huang, who was the first emperor of China. The first thing we're going to do is take one finger at the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line out, come back to the dot, draw a straight line out on the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down and curve and we're coming to the right <clears throat> excuse me we're going to do a straight diagonal down curve down on the right at the bottom we're going to draw straight line little straight line straight line straight line okay right here in the center we draw a straight line up curve line over straight line connect and inside we're just going to draw a curve 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 line connect and let's just do one two curve lines above okay starting on the left the very far left I draw a straight line all the way down one two three four Five, if you can fit them come jump over come on the right hand side one two three four five straight lines on the right starting on the left at the bottom we're just going to draw little baby circles at the ends all the way come to the right same thing all the way okay now I come to the middle section right here on the left up at this point and I'm going to draw a straight line down curve line over and leave that floating because now I come on the right hand side I'm going to draw a little curved line slightly curved line down curved line straight line connect okay I come up to the very top and I'm going to draw curve line in, curve line out, connect. And right here on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a slightly curve line down, connect. Okay? I come right to this point right below, and I'm just going to draw another curve line over and connect. Okay? Now I come on the inside of the space. First thing I'm going to do, draw a slightly a uh, straight diagonal down little curve line in come back to the right we're gonna draw a curve line up on the right jump over curve line up on the left come back to the right and put a dot and from that dot or a little bit of before the dot we're gonna draw another curve line up on the left put the dot little curve line up on the left okay now come right from the center and we're going to draw curve line up on the left come back to the middle curve line up on the right right in the center I just draw a little straight line <clears throat> and a little curve line over okay starting right here in the center I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down straight diagonal up connect on the right hand side right here I'm gonna do it again only shorter straight diagonal down straight diagonal up connect on the right come on the left straight diagonal down straight diagonal up connect okay now I come over here on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a big wavy 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 line all the way down off the page and I come on the right hand I mean the left hand side and I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line out and then a curved line in okay from the part where I drew the curved line in now I continue my wavy wavy line out 
and off the page. Come back to the left hand side and we're just going to put curve line down, curve line up, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Okay? Now, I come over on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, come back up to the top, we're going to draw a curve line down, cross that, and leave that line floating. Now I'm going to mimic the line back up. So I start here at the bottom on the right and bring this curve line up, connect, and I come on the left and I bring this curve line up, connect on the left. Okay? Now I come down and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line over, and leave it floating because right here I'm going to draw an oval, a straight line on the left, straight line on the right. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, jump over, and I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, and I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Now, because I've drawn that, I can go back to the middle and draw this line up, jump over, and now another line up and leave it floating. Now I come on the right hand side, and I know this is a lot, so take it slow. And if you need to pause, go ahead and pause. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and a straight diagonal down again. Now this line can come up and connect. I know it's a lot of lines, but he's wearing robes, so there's a lot of detail. Now I come back on the left and I just draw a straight line down off the page and I come back in at about here and I'm just going to draw a curved line, connect, and down here I'm going to draw a curved line up, but I'm going to leave it floating. And that's because I'm going to come back over here on this section and I'm just going to draw a curved line connect. Okay? Now I come back over here on the right, I mean the left, and I draw right about here, I draw a big curve line down, and inside I'm going to draw it again. Big curve line down, connect. Okay. Maybe put one more line here in the middle, so those don't, there we go, so it doesn't look like they're just floating in outer space. I think that's all. We'll talk. Oh no, I forgot. Let's mimic this line one more time. Now I think we're done. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what I did, <clears throat> excuse me, was I went in and I found all of my colored crayons that I have in my big bag and I found some flesh color so I made this section of his face, his ear, and his hand peach. Okay? Then I took an orange and all of this is brocade. That's like a very heavily embroidered fabric. So instead of spending a lot of time I did spirals on all of the sections of his robe because he's got on a lot of really fancy clothes. So these I just filled in all with spirals and I used orange. This also is part of it so I would fill this all in with spirals. Put a dot and just go around. Dot and go around. Keep going. This whole section, this is his robes. They were very highly embroidered dress. Okay? And over here, this should also have some spirals. You can use any colors you want. I did mine all about the same color that I found a picture of him in uh, Wikipedia. Now, this section, I did brown. This is all brown. This part of his robe is all brown. Bring it down. This is his sword. This is brown. This is brown. Leave the oval alone. This is white. Leave that alone. Then he's got black hair. This is his hair way up here. This is hair. This is his beard. 
this should all be black black and oh it looks like I forgot one part we should have mimicked this straight line curve line this is like the his emblem like a coat of arms in that section I did all browns so his hat this is his hat this is all browns okay I put in a little bit of red just for pop so this is red. I did the outside of his emblem or his coat of arms red. Okay. And the rest of it I pretty much did oranges and browns. But like I said, you can color, once I did this color with the spirals, I came in over the top of it and did a light orange. But you can do any colors you want. The best thing to do is go online and just put his name in and you'll see some beautiful beautiful paintings he was the first emperor of china he's the great wall of china he also is uh who built the terracotta army that was buried it with him in his tomb okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's chin shi huang all colored in the first emperor of china Okay, bye-bye.